Hello everybody, Michael the Librarian of Magic here, finding and cataloging the magical and pointing you to it. Today is October the 14th, and I have returned once again with another Halloween drawing, another Halloween treat for you. Uh, the same disclaimers as always apply, and you can uh, find those in the first video in this series if you want to see those or hear about those in detail. With that out of the way, today's Halloween villain drawing. The Hyenas from 1994's The Lion King. Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. Um, the hyenas here are scars, you know, associates, henchmen, goons, um, whatever you want to say. It's kind of hard to call them henchmen or goons because while they uh, are sort of wrangled in by Scar to help do his dirty work, they also aren't all that obedient. Um, as they, you know, pledge their fealty and everything, but they also don't, they're willing to turn on him, basically. Uh, in the end of the movie, um, essentially, the hyenas eat Scar alive once he's been wounded by uh, Simba. They, they surround him, and basically, it implies that they are going to eat him. So, they're sort of untrustworthy associates or partners in crime I guess you could say um, they are vo these characters are voiced by Whoopi Goldberg Cheech Marin and if if you were to throw out a random guest actor or r random voice actor to guess who does any sort of Disney role and you guess Jim Cummings you'd probably be right and in this case you would because Ed is voiced by Jim Cummings um, or vocalized by Jim Cummings, I guess you could say. Uh, originally, the voice of Shenzi was supposed to be Tommy Chong. The idea was they were going to reunite uh, Cheech and Chong after having not been, you know, doing any work together for quite a while. But um, Cheech Marin accepted the role first, and uh, Tommy Chong, at that point in, in their career, wasn't interested in working with Cheech for one reason or another, um, you know, whether they were not getting along at that point in time, even though they, they famously are now, or whether they just were interested in doing separate things for a while because they've been so associated with each other. Whatever the reason, uh, Tommy Chong uh, decided not to take the role, so they eventually offered the role to Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, as it turns out, sort of a, I guess, a happy accident of accuracy for choosing Whoopi Goldberg is that um, hyenas actually live in a matriarchal society in real life. And Shenzi here is essentially the leader of all of these, this trio of hyenas in particular, but it's shown throughout the uh, in certain instances in the movie that she really is kind of the leader of the entire pack of hyenas. And that sort of lines up with what we see in reality. So it's sort of a happy accident of having, uh, one of the happy accidents of having Whoopi Goldberg. I uh, obviously chose her for her talent, but um, that's just sort of an interesting thing. Uh, some of the evidence of, of her being sort of the leader of the entire pack is in the song Be Prepared. Uh, there's a point where the um, Hyenas choose to follow Scar on his plan, and Shinzi is the first to yell out, Long live the king, and every the, all the rest of the hyenas step in line behind her. So there's sort of evidence there that she is the leader of the entire, the entire pack. Um, another thing with uh, Be Prepared is that uh, Ed, he actually voices a line in the song when, when all of the... Uh, Hyenas sing in tandem the line, Our teeth and ambitions are bared. He he also sings along. So Ed can, can actually um, talk or mimic lines or whatever when necessary, but he's sort of uh, an interesting Marcel Marceau pantomime style character. Uh, but he he apparently is ha, does have the ability to speak um, whenever he wants to. Um, I think the idea with Ed is that he, while he is not, uh, super sharp as attack, he is a little bit more intelligent than he lets on. Um, so I think that's kind of the idea with that. Um, 
Also in Be Prepared, I may have mentioned this in the Scar video in the last season, but Jim Cummings, who does Ed here, um, also voiced the latter half of the song for Scar. Uh, Jeremy Irons, um, after many, many takes uh, in that with that intense um, vocalization in that song, his voice just became overworked, and uh, Jim Cummings finished off the back half of the song. So both of their voices are featured in that particular song. Uh, in the musical stage version of The Lion King, the hyenas have a more expanded role. Um, they have a few more scenes with Scar, uh, particularly after the Pride Lands have been taken over and they're running out of food. They sort of beg Scar for, for more food. But they also have a, their own song in the musical version called Chow Down, which is very interesting. I have seen that before. Um, some other interesting things, the the name Shenzi is actually Swahili, and it means pagan or barbarous or uncouth. In the live-action version uh, from 2019 um, of the film, all of the hyenas are given uh, different names. There's, there's still Shenzi, but then there's also uh, Kamari and Azizi. They're voiced respectively by uh, Florence Kasumba, Keegan-Michael Key, and Eric Andre. Um, so they decided to change to change the names up and give them more Swahili names for the live action uh, version. But in the rest of the versions, uh, they're all Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. In various other um, sequels and the uh, animated show Timon and Pumbaa from the 90s, the hyenas feature as well. And aside from the original. Um, animated film. Whoopi Goldberg does not reprise her role, but Jim Cummings does, and very often so does Cheech Marin. Um, wherever that's not the case, in the Timon and Pumbaa show, for example, uh, Tress McNeil does the voice of Shenzi, and you may recognize Tress McNeil's work. She's uh, one of those big-time players in voice acting as well. She was the voice of Gadget in Chippendale Rescue Rangers. She was also the voice of Chip in Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, and still voices Chip for various um, needs even up to today, and sometimes Dale as well. Sometimes she does both Chip and Dale. Um, she's the voice of Dot Warner on the Animaniacs. She voices many minor roles on The Simpsons. Uh, you may recognize her as Agnes Skinner, uh, Principal Skinner's mother, and Dolph. Uh, one of the bullies, but she does a lot of different roles on The Simpsons. Um, Bonsai, whenever not being voiced by uh, Cheech Marin, is vo usually voiced by Rob Paulson. Rob Paulson is also one of the voices on um, Animaniacs. He voices Yakko. He also is the voice of Pinky on Pinky and the Brain. And um, on, the, on Goof Troop, he's the voice of Ma uh, Max's best bud, PJ. He's featured a lot. You you definitely recognize his voice from things. If you've been, if you're my age and you've been following animation for a little bit, you've definitely heard Rob Paulson's voice. And then Jim Cummings um, continues to reprise his role uh, whenever it pops up in in animated uh, instances. Another interesting tidbit, just in general, about uh, people who who may have auditioned for Shinzi besides. Um, besides Whoopi Goldberg and Tommy Chong, that ended sort of fortuitously. Um, Ernie Sabella auditioned for the role of Shenzi, and uh, at that same time, Nathan Lane auditioned for the role of Zazu, the um, hornbill, the bird that looks after Simba. Those two, Ernie Sabella and Nathan Lane, were good friends from having done a Broadway production of Guys and Dolls together for a long time. And after their auditions, and the, when it was uh, known that they got on together and had good chemistry together, they were in fact recast as Timon and Pumbaa. Nathan Lane as Timon and Ernie Sibella as Pumbaa. So their, you know, fortuitousness of just auditioning at the same time turned into them in, you know, being Timon and Pumbaa in the end. So that's kind of another interesting thing about that. Anyway, these are the hyenas. I thought the drawing came out well. This is just a still from the film. Uh, I think this is in the scene in the elephant graveyard when they all sort of crowd around Simba and Nala and approach them 
uh, sort of um, aggressively. So I decided to draw that and I thought it came out um, pretty good. I'm happy with it and yeah, those are the hyenas from The Lion King. Is The Lion King one of your favorites? The hyenas some of your favorite characters? Let me know down below. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And thanks for following me along for the entire month of October. I hope this is um, a nice breath of fresh air in the middle of your day and that you're enjoying the drawings and uh, learning some stuff about Disney villains and Disney characters and voice actors and all that good stuff. Thanks for following along. Come back tomorrow when I'll have another drawing for you. And until then, have a good day. Bye-bye.